Welcome to Outdoor Travel Channel. Are you guys hungry? Well, it's Traeger Day, so let's get to cooking, everyone. Hello there, Traeger fans. This is Rob, and today is a Traeger Day. Yay! So today I'm going to make uh, chicken wings, and I wanted to experiment with something I saw on a Traeger presentation. A guy named Chad was making wings, and he was using cornstarch with his rub to get a more crispier uh, coating on, on your wings. So I'm going to try it. So today we're making chicken wings, and we're going to do them in the Traeger. We're going to cook at about 275 until I get the meat up to 160, 65 degrees. And then I'm going to crank it and take the meat up to about 185 to 190 uh, and watch them carefully and uh, call it good after that and see what they taste like. I'm just going to use a rub uh, in the cornstarch and I'm not going to be putting any barbecue sauce on them or anything. So we'll see how it goes. Here we go. So I picked up some local chicken at the Safeway and uh, oh there's about 16 here and of course I'll make twice as much once I cut everything washed up really good got my knives out and now it's time to cut up the chicken after watching a video of a gentleman named uh, Chad from Traeger uh, I've actually never cut chicken up like this before and so it was kind of new for me and trying to get used to finding the joint to uh, make the cuts but uh, also he showed some uh, very interesting ways to uh, trim off the fat and I'll show you that in a minute. After I got all these puppies cut up, now what I'm doing is trimming the uh, fat uh, off the edges of the uh, wings that kind of Chad showed me, which I've never done this before, but he says it uh, makes it less chewier. On this chicken, I'm gonna rub cornstarch, Traeger chicken, and a herb seasoning. So I took a bowl and decided to start putting my herbs in first, then I'm gonna add my Traeger mix, and then my cornstarch. Now Traeger says to put 50% cornstarch to your rub, and so that's what I'm trying to do here. So now it's just time to mix all this up, and I'll kind of keep adding and taking away a little bit till I get the mixture the way I want, but looking for a 50-50 mix. Here's a mistake I made. I added a little bit of salt to this, and not necessary. Your other ingredients have plenty of salt in it. So I poured all this into a flat pan so it would be easy to work with the chicken. So this is my setup so I could do these chicken and kind of rotate my pans and everything. So here we go. So basically I took all these uh, pieces of chicken and rolled them into this uh, rub with the cornstarch in it, and uh, which took a little time, but uh, we won't sit here through that whole thing. <laughs> So something new for me, I'm going to inject these wings with chicken broth and I'm using my beast injector. I grabbed the bowl, poured it in the can and getting ready so I can fill my injector. I did add a little bit more uh, flavor to this by adding a little bit of ground garlic, but I also did some onion salt and I think once again, be careful on the salt because my recipe came out a little bit salty. So once again, a warning, reduce your salt. So here's my injector weapon. Time to load this puppy up and start injecting some chicken wings. So I grabbed one at a time, got into the middle of the wing and injected them. So what you do is you do a very light push as you're pulling out and uh, to get the juices in there. So just a little dab will do ya. Here's a little better view of what I'm doing here. Stab, pull out as you're pushing, and 
grab your next one. So now all of these are injected. I'm taking them out of a bowl and putting into uh, my little rack here so I can uh, kind of spread them out and see what I got. So now it's time to fire up the trigger. So we've open the lid, turn it on start, and start letting her get going here. And I am gonna add pellets. I am cooking today with alder, which is my favorite. I love alder. And uh, we're gonna fill it up, my, my hopper up here all the way, and we'll be ready to go. Here's my chicken and it's ready to go and the trigger is being heated up as we speak. I'm cranking the heat up to about 275. And now my chicken's ready to load. Now you'll see that I poured a lot of rub on the top of the chicken because I know it's going to fall off. I just wanted to make sure I had as much of the seasoning on there as possible, but you really don't need to put that much on. Once again, these came out a little bit salty, so next time I would back off with the salt. Anything that has salt in it, back off on it but they still came out very yummy my goal here is to put the smaller pieces on the top shelf and my larger ones at the bottom but it really doesn't matter because the trigger heats up pretty evenly throughout the whole grill and here we are getting to our last ones here we'll get them all squeezed in there and we're ready to start cooking My goal here is to take these wings up to around 150, 160 and then turn up the heat. I'm using a digital thermometer, which I just love, and it uh, works really well. So it's been about a half hour and I'm, I'm going to turn these over and just make sure I'm getting heat on them. Uh, these were sticking to the grill a little bit and I should have sprayed it, but um, it wasn't too hard to get them turned. But yeah, and you can see my rub is falling off of them as I do that. So I was kind of messy on this uh, particular project. It's been about 45 minutes, so I'm going in and I'm testing all the temperatures and uh, uh, found out that these were right up to where I wanted, around 180 to 190, and they're ready to eat. I was actually amazed how quickly these did cook. It didn't take that long, I think maybe 40 minutes at the most. Uh, but you have to monitor the temperature. And I'm just gonna unload them here and we're ready to eat. So I'll show you the presentation in a minute here. Here's the finished product. They were nice and crispy, a little bit salty, but really delicious. So once again, watch out for your salt, reduce the salt on this recipe and enjoy. Hey, thank you for joining me on Traeger Day with Outdoor Travel Channel. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. We'd really appreciate that. So have a great day, everybody. Till next time, buy a Traeger.